hey y'all welcome back to another video i'm gonna be showing y'all how i make um a sweater out of a blanket i'm pretty sure y'all been seeing these they've been trending so i'm gonna do a video on it and show y'all how i do it um i brought this pattern off of etsy i'm gonna link it down in the description but i don't know if y'all want to use it because it's a little i don't know i already like it because i'm i have to add inches to it um i just have to like tweak the pattern so i don't know if y'all want to use it but i'm putting it in the description but up down below and i'm gonna link the website that i use to make this um to make this blanket so um i don't know if i'm gonna put so this is a blanket right here y'all gonna see it again while i'm cutting but this is the blanket um i put the collage together um and then i went i put the collage together using canva because y'all know the blankets come in like certain like um length and width so i custom customized the dimension on cam on canva and then i made the collage just so it could fit on the blanket so my friend is going to a Fredo bang or Fredo bangs is it Fredo bang or bangs well either one she's going to his concert next weekend she hit me up like hey can you make this for me and i'm like yes so that is what we're doing i'm gonna take y'all on the spices with me right now i am customizing the pattern to her to you know like i told you i had to tweak the pattern so that's what i'm doing right now so i'm gonna show y'all where well, i'm gonna speed this up while i'm doing this and i'll be back to y'all whenever i am done <laughs> to cut the pattern out on like um another some extra fabric i had just so i can open it up and place it right so i can get the pictures and stuff right so yes that's what we have to do so let me speed this up So I'm done cutting everything out. So what I'm about to do is, first thing you do is you just fold your um. This is the arm sleeve, right? So you fold it in half, make sure it's even like that, and then pin it all the way down. I straight stitch it first, and then I go back with my serger. You can do it like that. Actually, you could do the sleeve like that, or you can um look you can lay your front so this is my front piece you can lay your front piece and your back piece together like this and you can sew down the sleeves i mean the shoulders you can sew that down and open it up so it's gonna be look, it's gonna look like this sew it down and then when you open it up it's gonna be together right here at the ends and this will be your sleeve and then you could just pin your sleeve around it so match the ends match the ends up pin your sleeve around it and then all you would do is just fold all of it in half and then just sew it so you could do it either way I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna um, pin the shoulders down first and then do the sleeve and then close it all up around. So yes, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm getting back with you, I'm gonna speed it up. A 
Okay, so this is what I meant by sewing the shoulders down and then having it flipped open like that. And then you take your sleeve and you just pin it around this part like this. Of course, right sides together. You pin it around that like that. And then when you have it all like this, you just fold it up back and just close it all down the side. And then you will have the sweater. It's going to be done. So hold on. I'm going to do that. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so whenever you do that, whenever you finish and you, you know, sew it down, it should look like this. Open up all fours. So then you flip it closed like that. And then you pin it all around to close it up. So yes, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So this is what the sweater looks like. This is the side picture. And then the other side picture. And then this is the front. And this is the back. Am I still in front? So yes, this is how the sweater looks. And yeah.